What is up, guys? We are over on Twisted Wonderland. Finally, finally, two years later, almost two years later, we get to play this game in English. I wanted to try this back when it came out. At the time it released, I couldn't find translations for it when it first launched, and it just kind of killed the interest to dive into this game. It gives off Kingdom Hearts vibes for me. It gives off Final Fantasy vibes. It gives off straight up anime vibes. I mean, if you have seen anything on Twisted Wonderland, you know the art style and you are just been looking forward to it like I am. I'm here to give my first impressions of actually playing it, playing it, not just logging in and just giving up on it at the very first time I downloaded it with the JP version. So thank you for being here. Smack the sub button if you're new. We're going to hop into Twisted Wonderland. Something that I do want to mention, if you have downloaded this game, if you're trying to play Twisted Wonderland and you're going in and you've opened it up on your phone and it's the black screen just crashes and it just keeps resetting. I've seen a lot of comments about that and it is because of USB debugging. If you have that enabled for any reason, if you plug your phone into your computer just to transfer files, done anything with USB debugging, if you flip that off, it should let you into the game. That's what I did. I'm on a Galaxy S20 Ultra and I thought my phone I was like, is it incompatible? I didn't know. I disabled the USB debugging and restarted the game and it let me in like immediately. So that's what you're experiencing. Give that a shot and it might let you in. You might be able to try the game, but we're going to hop on into it and just see what we got. I am just anticipating from what I understand, this game is a rhythm based RPG storytelling, getting to see the Disney villains, actually all the Disney characters just in anime form is going to be super sweet. I love when people take just classic characters, classic art, and then they kind of twist it. Huh, hence the name of the game, they twist it into a different style. All right, so we have the Queen of Hearts, the King of Beasts, the Sea Witch, Sorcerer of the Sands, the Fairest Queen, King of the Underworld, ooh, the Thorn Fairy. Maleficent sounds pretty cool. I don't... Scar sounds cool too. I don't know what these mean. I'm assuming this is like your starting character. I'm just gonna go with Maleficent. Oh, you get to preview them. Okay, so a dorm base. Oh, they're the schools. Okay. So each one has their specific style, which is cool. And then we're gonna keep going through... Oh, so fancy. So far, I like the style of that. So far, it's probably still going to be Maleficent. I just like that whole vibe. The Underworld, maybe the Underworld? We'll see. Okay. And back to the Maleficent style. So yeah, it looks like you get to literally pick who you want to start with. I'm going to go ahead and just keep it going here. Are you ready to take the plunge? Yes. Been waiting like two years for this. Just wanted to play this game for so long. I know it does well in Japan too. Got the Mad Kingdom Hearts vibes. Turn-based battles, you get two attacks per turn. Let's give battles a whirl. Okay, so it is turn-based fighting now. My understanding it was a rhythm game. What is going on? This is bringing me back serious vibes from the Kingdom Hearts mobile game. Second strike, let's see. Can we pair it up? Oh, it's just two moves, okay. Oh, okay, we were supposed to lose it. <laughs> Stories that contain twist tunes are marked with the musical note. Okay, because that first one, that was just literally like turn-based combat like a lot of gotcha games are. I'm curious to see this rhythm aspect of it in your chamber. So these characters have like full-on voice acting. It's like animated and everything, just like a regular visual novel. Tap to the music. Twist tunes are played over the course of the main story. Twist tunes of alternating story scenes and rhythm game segments. The story scene branched out based on your score. That's kind of cool. Tap the screen when the notes are close to the center of the target, and the closer the target center you tap, the higher your score will be. Different colored note bars require different taps on parts of the screen. When these are green, you can tap anywhere on the screen. We've been over regular notes. Let's go over long notes. For long notes, tap and hold down. Okay, so it's got the Osu vibes going there. Grab that grim. It's an easy difficulty. Watch me just completely mess this up. <laughs> so it really is just completely rhythm-based. Very simple, but... I'm assuming this is just to teach me what the game is supposed to be like. 
looks like they've got the rhythm sections in between the story segments, which if the rhythm parts get kind of crazy, that would be super sweet. So you do the rhythm in between the stories, you get your score, you get the part of the story as you score through the rhythm, which is cool. I like that. It rewards you for not messing up, even though I didn't get a perfect on all of them. My rhythm skills have been destroyed. You will encounter many different types of twist tunes. Okay. I like that. It's going to make it varying up. Tapped anywhere on the left half of the screen. Tap anywhere on the right half of the screen. When the notes and bars are red and blue, tap the left half and the right half. And okay, so they're having a split up, getting a little more interactive. When notes appear at the same time, tap the left and right halves simultaneously. Okay. Notes come in from four separate directions and move toward four separate targets. Tap the left half of the screen for blue, for light, for the red. So now this is going to be coming in from different directions and getting us even more challenging i just want it to go crazy i want it to go so so nuts that i can't even keep up with what's on the screen yeah it's coming in at such a slow pace it's actually not even matching the music so we go in you do the rhythm you're able to do a 10 summon it lets you get the character that you want from the pool of eight units and then you goes in to the rest of the game and you can look and you can upgrade your cards you can see all of the systems that they have for upgrading your units going in, changing their levels, upgrading their spells. It functions like a regular gacha game, but it has that Disney, just Kingdom Hearts, darker vibe to it. I think this is made by the same person that did Black Butler, if I'm not mistaken. So it definitely has those vibes as well. I recommend giving the game a shot. It is pretty fun. And if you enjoy rhythm games, if you enjoy turn-based RPGs with this kind of art style and vibe, I just recommend hopping in, giving it a try. You may not like this, but it is just worth a quick shot, see if you enjoy it or not. I'm gonna keep playing it on the side. I'm gonna see if I stick with it, continue with it, see how the rest of the game goes. Might make some more videos on it. See your guys' feedback. Let me know if you've tried it down below in the comments. I appreciate you being here. Smack the sub button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.